Hi guys, so today's video is going to be the start of a new series on my channel which is called Bought It, Forgot It. Basically what it's about is products that I've purchased and just basically forgot about. I don't use them enough and I'm going to go through my drawers each month and pick out different things that I really don't use often and put them into this little box and incorporate them in my daily routines and then at the end of the month I will update you guys on if I feel like I should have bought it, if I just you know regret it, if I love it. So, And I just want to say thank you to Ashley Joy. She actually came up with the title Bought It, Forgot It. We had a Facebook poll on my Facebook page, which if you haven't liked it, yet I will link it down below because I do things like this ever so often and she came up with the name and I absolutely love it and also I did pick the winners for my I want to thank you giveaway I have mentioned them on YouTube so if you're interested in seeing who they are I will leave their usernames down below and if you were a winner please get back to me as soon as possible thank you guys so much for you know entering that contest keep in mind there will be more in the future so don't be sad if you didn't win yeah let's just go ahead and get started with this video so let's start with palettes the first first palette I want to start incorporating more is this nude tube palette from the Balm. I got off the Hot Look a while back and I just never used it. I don't think I've even swatched this thing. Um, so I need to use this more and like I said this is from the Balm and it's called the Nude Tube Palette. The other one is the Lorac Pro Palette. A lot of you have probably seen this. It's a really well known palette here on YouTube but I do love the palette I just don't use it enough so that's basically the idea for all these products I'm going to show you guys. Next is the NARS Dan Mari palette, and I've had this for a couple years now. And you can see it just has four blushes, a highlight, and bronzer. And I need, to, I need to use these more. I used to love Sin a lot, but you know, I just forget about them because if you've seen my blush and bronzer drawer, you know why I probably forgot about them. Speaking of blushes and bronzers, the first bronzer I'm going to try to use more is the Chanel Soleil Tene Chanel bronzer. And this is like a cream bronzer, but it's like a cream to powder thing. But this one's really expensive, so I definitely had to include it because it needs to be put to use. Another one is this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, another really well-known one. Again, I used to use this a lot, and then I just kind of moved on to different things. So it looks like it's about to hit pan soon because I can see the rings around it. So hopefully I can hit pan on it and maybe use it up this month. I have two NARS blushes. This one, again, used to love. It's Deucer. And it's just a really pretty natural mauve -y shade. I, I just really love it. And then this one's Love Joy, which is kind of a darker b blush, but it does look really, really nice. And this is actually one I purchased recently. This is a Smashbox um, Halo Longwear Blush, and this is in Passion. I got it, and I haven't used it yet. I'm pretty sure it still has the little thingy on it. Let's see. And I keep them in the box because they're really messy. Yeah, I still have the thing on it. Um, as for primer, I threw in the Benefit Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer. I used this like twice, I think, and I was not impressed because it broke in half. So when I got a new one, um, I just didn't ever use it. Also threw in my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This one's in light. Hopefully I can use this up because it's right down here at the near bottom. So hopefully I can use this up. Translucent Crystal Powder. I bought this and I just haven't been using it a lot. I've been loving the MAC one more. So I just, I need to use this. It was really expensive. Oh, another blush I have is this Sigma Creme de Couture Cherry Apple. I used this a couple times uh, a while back and I really liked it. So I wanted to throw it in and kind of incorporate it more. Okay, I have three liners. I have the Maybelline Line Stiletto, which I forget what this looks like. It just has like a felt tip like the L'Oreal Lanier liner, so I threw that in here. I also want to try to use this up. This is the MAC Eye Pencil in Smolder. And then you have the NYX The Curve, which I used around this time last year, so maybe I can use it up. I also have the Rocket Mascara from Maybelline. I really do like this mascara. The only thing that sucks is taking it off because it's really hard to take off. But I do like it, so I want to use it and maybe try to use it up and kind of give my YSL one a break. I also have an Eve Pearl Salmon Concealer in light. I want to try to use this more. I have quite a few of these in my drawer, and I just, you know, I need to use them up. I have a Chanel Single Eyeshadow. I've had this for literally years. This is an Amethyst. It's literally the prettiest purple color because it has like a hint of blue. So pigmented and creamy. Oh my gosh. It's a really pretty shade. I just never use it, so I'm going to try to use it up more. I have two Stila ones. The first one is in Kitten. I've raved about this a lot. I love it, but again, I just forget about it. It's a really pretty shade. The only thing about these eyeshadows is they do have a ton of fallout, 
And then the other one I have here is Terracotta, which is a beautiful shade. I mean, just stunning. I also want to use, I haven't used this yet, the Revlon Colorstay Eyeshadow Quad in Adventurous. Just has like a green, a dark brown, and like a gold shade. So I want to use that and see how I like it. And then I threw in this quad just because I love this quad. I just forget about it and I want to do a video on it. I meant to do it when the collection first came out. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio Limited Edition Quad in Desert Fantasy. I love the gold and the green in this quad. They're really, really pretty. And then last things are lip products. I have two Chroma Lip Pencils in Baby Doll and Modern Mauve. And these are really nice. I just, again... You know how it is. It's kind of like, ugh, you just forget about things. So I'm going to try to use those up. They're really nice and pigmented. And then the last thing I'm going to try to use, which I haven't used before, is the L'Oreal Le Matte in Matte For Me. And it's just a really pretty red color. And again, I haven't used it. I've just swatched it, and it seems really nice. So I'm excited to try this out because I'm really into matte shades lately. I hope you guys are excited about this series. I think it's really fun, and it's going to help me kind of use more things that I have. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you were excited about this series, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!